I'm doing a different type of video today. I look totally different, but this video is another fashion video. I decided to take pieces from my wardrobe to make Cruella inspired looks. I had a whole bunch of different clothes. After watching the movie, I realized, wow, I have tons of these items in my wardrobe and I can pair them together to give you some inspired looks that would look great. Like I was looking at these items while watching the movie at home. <laughs> of light. So this is my interpretation of Cruella's looks. But before we get into the video, I'd like to ask you one little favor. Could you please subscribe? If you're enjoying this video or any of my other videos, it's super simple. All you have to do is click that little red button because that would make Cruella happy. Anywho, guys, let's get into the video. This first look was what inspired me to create this video. I had this red skirt for so long and it's kind of in between sizes for me, so I never quite fit it. I definitely need to get it taken in, but it's a mermaid um, fit, fitted skirt that has like the flare at the bottom um, and it can be kind of high-waisted or you can just put it, sit it on your waist. I believe I got this from ASOS a while back for close to $20. But when I looked at it, like I hang it up in my room to inspire me and to say like, hey, you need to wear this. Um, if you really love this, then figure out how to, to, to wear this outfit. Um, so yeah, so I've actually never really worn it. But when I watched the movie, I was like, I have something in that kind of feels like that. And so when I saw this piece where Cruella came and she took over the Baroness's um, car with her skirt, it, it really reminded me of that. And then I knew I had this like general jacket, which I actually showed in a previous video with the combat boots. I was like, I can do this look, let's figure it out. So I actually paired it with the military jacket and then I took and put as many buttons and charms and earrings as I could um, to kind of give it that look. I also took belts and different accessories and tied it around me and put it on my shoulder. And I used also actually used a tie I had from our money exchange a while back. And, and that's kind of what made most of the look. I also paired it like Cruella, her hair is a certain left where it covers her ears. So I'm like, does Cruella even wear earrings at this time in her life? I don't know. I know in um, 100 Dalmatians, 101 Dalmatians, the, the live action, she actually wears tons of earrings and they're big and huge. But this I know because of behind the scenes was inspired by punk. What is more punk than two different size earrings, which I've done since I was young because I, I tend to lose earrings a lot. So I put on this leaf, like this opal silver leaf earring with like a, just a, a plain um, stud. And that was the, the look. Oh, and my BCBG shoes um, that I've worn before in a video, they're like buckled up shoes. And I just thought they would just look nice because they're modern, but they also give you kind of a boot feel. And I, I saw that Cruella wore a lot of boots, but I also wanted to make it modern and to kind of feel, I mean, I could have worn combat boots, right? But I really wanted to give my spin on it and make it still Vicky's style. So that's the first look. The uh, next look was actually an amalgamation of items that I saw that Cruella wore in the film. Um, she actually wore a lot of black and white. And they said that um, the main inspirations were black, white, and red for Cruella in um, the film. So I saw her, wear, one, wear that um, vinyl um latex kind of leather look um one when she was doing a, a show so that kind of inspired me like oh what do I have here um and then also seeing her do that kind of checkered leather um outfit that she's actually worn in promo in like the promo with the dogs um so I actually took 
those two kind of combinations and knowing that I had black and white pieces in my wardrobe I thought that would be kind of perfect so um I actually wore this leather jacket which I got from the UK um uh, my sister actually bought it for me you know my favorite to say my sister got this but she did um I wore the leather jacket and then I paired it with these H&M leather gloves um, because she wore a lot of short, different types of gloves actually, but she wore short gloves and I had these cute short uh, like motorcycle gloves, which I really, or riding gloves um, that I wanted to wear with that. And then I had this black and white skirt that I got from ASOS's ages ago. And I paired it with my black um, knee high Fendi boots, which I got a while back at the Fendi outlet. And so that pretty much sums up that look. It's a combination of two different looks. But I feel like Cruella would wear that. Um, you know, uh, you know what another great piece probably it would have been to wear a button up collar shirt, which I definitely have some shirts that I could have paired with that. I think that would have made it pop a little bit more. But I was just thinking about, oh, she wears so much black. And I was trying to think about black outfit idea so so that's pretty much how I was inspired to create that look the last look was the red ball gown look and I just loved how she's the fire wish I'm like oh like how can I make the, the fire thing happen like how could I recreate that effect and obviously I can't recreate that um because that was like you know um effects right um, but I wish I could like do something that could match that. I, it's hard, but yeah, she went to the ball at that section in the movie and she stunned everybody with her red dress and it's just a jaw dropping dress. And the only thing that I had that was similar is this um, satin slip dress that I actually got, I believe from um, Fashion Nova. I actually saved it cause I'm doing in the future, near future, I'm doing a slip dress video guys so look out for that and this will be included and I can give more details but yeah this is a super sexy dress and so it reminded me of that and I said okay I have that so this can be included I also have a face mask um you know sometimes people want you to go to like masquerade balls and events so I thought that would be cute I noticed that she actually wore some leather gloves or some kind of gloves that actually um some some high you know some long gloves I guess you would call them with the outfit and so I had some of those so I was like okay and I got those actually from Primark in the UK years ago with my sister we both got a pair and I paired it with these shoes I had for a while this is the first pair of Sam, Sam Edelman shoes that I ever bought they were super comfortable and that's when I started to buy more Sam Edelman items because my feet they ain't perfect you know I have low arches so I need stuff with lots of cushion to make sure that I get that support. So yeah, there's so there are these like toe open toe sandal platform shoes with like little gems on the side, which I really love. And then I paired it obviously with some small little diamond earrings that I had for a while back from Banana Republic and the masks. So now that you've seen all the looks in this video, do you think they are all worthy of Cruella's style. If so, please tell me what was your favorite in the comments down below. I feel like I did a great job um, with what I had. I, I didn't purchase anything aside from the hair clay for this video because I had so many pieces that I was like, I kind of have something like that while I was watching the film. I something like this I kind of you know I could just pull and um because Cruella has such a classic style and also such a rebellious style like she takes pieces from so many different um inspirations in the movie like the way that people talked about it during um interviews and BTS's they were saying okay she uses red black and white and that was her main color palette but they also said she did a lot of rock inspired and um rock yeah rock inspired clothes and so when you think back in that time it was like what well, the 70s the 60s um those items you know punk rock punk rock stuff you pull we pull so much from now i definitely have punk rock items and so 
I have so much, like I have leather, I have, or even faux leather items. I just have silver or metal options. I always have a lot of red and black. Those are just so classic items in everyone's wardrobe. So guys, please tell me what was your favorite from this whole haul um, or outfit inspiration or cosplay, whatever you wanna call it. Please tell me what was your favorite look down below in the um, comment area. And also, if you haven't and you enjoyed this video, please subscribe. I'm trying to get to 100K subscribers. Let me, let me first get to 1,000 subscribers, but by you subscribing, you're helping me get one step closer. So guys, thank you in advance. See you next time. Peace.